Salut coders, this is Piski here. Welcome back to another tutorial. Home greetings to those who are joining us for the first time. In this tutorial, I want to show you step by step how we can use a Kong API gateway to build microservices architecture. We are going to implement this in Quarkus and we, are sh we shall use Vault to read configuration, secure configuration files. And here, on our architecture, you can see we have a Kong API gateway and we have clients either mobile, web, and all requests will go through Kong. And the advantages of Kong, it is multiple services like you can able, enable caching, authentication, routing, monitoring, plugins, rate limiting, and many more. And you go, we shall go through in future videos how to integrate with these plugins and how to, inter, how to show monitoring. And on the other side of our architecture, we are going to have our different microservices that are, that will be running on your in Docker containers. And we have payment service, and we have a learning service, and we have auth service. And each service has different path. So I will show you how we can configure this path. If it starts with payment, it will go to payment service. Starts with learning, goes to learning service. It starts with auth, it goes to auth service. So the power of using Kong is that we can have a central point and it will do things like load balancing, send to different servers. We have we have we have consumers also. So there's a lot that you can learn when you are building this architectural design. Quarkus has been gaining immense popularity in Java community for its lightning fast startup times and efficient memory usage, making it perfect choice for microservice development. If we pair it with Kong ga API Gateway, a scalable and high-performance API Gateway, you can easily manage, secure, and extend your microservice architecture with features like rate limiting, authentication, and logging. Additionally, I will, we will explore the integration of Quarkus Vault to secure management of sensitive configuration data such as API keys, database credentials, and other secrets. Quarkus Vault provides seamless way to store and retrieve these secrets, ensuring that your microservice remains secure and compliant with the best practices. Let's, uh, let's now set up our Kong API gateway. So let's do this. And let's all, we need to open our terminal. And I already created two services, which is the learning and the payment service. These are the two payment services. And I'll show you how you can create the third one, with the, uh, which is the auth service. So let's, we have to look, go to this URL. You can get it in the description, which is for Kong, how to install Kong in Docker. So this is the URL. So for, for us to installing this Kong API gateway, we need to have a, we need to create this we need to create this Kong network so you can oh I created I have this or oh, it was created now so we create this network after creating a network we need to start a Postgres so we want to integrate with the Postgres database so make sure you copy this and we can go to here and we can paste here after we created our docker i think if you say docker ps our postgres is now running seven seconds ago it's okay now let's continue we need to initialize our database so let's initialize our database so just copy this and we can paste here our database has been initialized so let's clear everything So after clearing, let's continue. So since our database is okay, we need to run this Kong. We need to run this Kong, but uh, this Kong command. So what I want to do, let's just configure. I want to install Postgres admin. Let's install Postgres admin. If you don't have Postgres installed, Postgres admin. So we want to see what is in, in our database, our Kong database after we initialized it. So this is our, so you need to add a server. Let's create a server. This one, I can call it test Kong, right? 
and we need to enter our URL which is localhost and our username it's Kong and let's check the password that we are using here it's Kong pass this is the password that we put here when we started this one when we created our post grace so let's enter this and let's save the password and click save so with this con with this test let's see the database that we have this is the database that we have which is con con database and we can go to the schemas we have this public schemas and you can go to the tables which we saw when it was initialized so these are the tables and all our routings plugins services Arabic, all of these will be stored in this database. So this, this tab, these tables, for so we are going for authentication. But for now, we are more focusing on the services in routing. We want to start with the routing and creating services for for our for our API gateways. So now we have this one. So let's try to run. Let's try to run. Let's run our Kong API. So to run our Kong API, there are two ways. We either use a database, this one for database, or you can run it using the database without the database, which is a, this one, which is a DBLS. But in this way, you have to configure this in a separate file, which is a YAML or a JSON. But for us, since we configure database, we were going to create it through the database. So this is the, for, for this command, I need to we need to copy this we need to copy this after copying this uh, I want to edit something here before I run this command I want to remove this UI which is the Kong admin GUI, GUI to manage our this is used to, to manage to create services to create routes to do many things but for me we don't want to use this one I will show you the the one that you are going to use. So after doing this, we need to run this this. So just come here, paste here. Then which says say Docker PS, and you can see our Kong is now running at this. So just say Docker logs. We don't have any error our docker is running fine here so what we need to do now the next thing we want to let's let's test we have some commands that we can use to check if if we have any services so if i do this and if i run this so here we don't have any error i will just cancel this i'll just say if you try to run this you can see you can get a result so let me just clear you can see we don't have any services so this service think of this service like your microservices so here we want to have a payment service we want to have a learning service so we need to configure these services on this platform so we need to configure a service after creating a service we need to create a route so Based on our documentation here, we need to create a payment service and we need to create a learning service and auth service. So what you can do, I have these commands on how to create a service and this is the first. So if we have two ways, if you are working with Kong, we have the admin side and the port for the client. So the admin side is the one that we use to this port. It ends with 8001. So this one is the one that we use for our admin when when creating a service or creating a route a consumer any administration work that you want to do but if you want to access now your microservice we are going to use a different port which is not 8001 which is 8000 so here we need to create first a service so the first service that you want to create is this one which is a learning service so you just copy this and it's supposed to be a post in the name of service and the URL. Then you can come here 
to our terminal and we can create a learning service. As you can see, a service has been created. So let's let's run the this command to see the service that we have. We have this service, which is which is the learning service. Now we have something in our database. So if you if you go to our PG admin, here if you go to the service, let's go to the services here. I can do this and I can view this. I can view all rows. So you can see a new record was created, which is a learning service and a protocol with HTTP. And it's running on this port and our path is going to be learning. So this one, it's an upstream URL. So if we go to our, to this URL, our service is going to be, is running on this URL, which is learning service port 9090. So this is the actual URL in which our service is running, right? And this learning service, remember, these things are running in a Docker. So I'm passing a Docker, a, a Docker name here as a, on our URL. I don't say local host. If you are running in a Docker, you just put a seven to avoid issues with connection error. So I, 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 I won't explain how the networking works in the Docker container, but know that if you are creating this, the, you, if you are running a Docker service, make sure you specify its container name after this name is the one that you can put on all your URLs. So that's okay. Here we are sorted. So let's create another one, which is a payment service. This one. And we can come back to our terminal. And this one has been created. So we can go back to our... We can go back here. And we can run this. We can have two services, learning service and payment service. So I will show you how to build one of these microservices, how I I build this payment service and learning service. How do I create it with Quarkus? How do I set this path URLs, which is payment and learning in the next video? For now, it's just a way of testing and show you how we can implement this. So after doing this, we have two services right now on, on our diagram. We have this other one, which is auth service. I will show you how we can create this one together on the next tutorial. In this tutorial, I wanted to show you how we can do this, how we can set up our Kong API gateway and creating these two services. So we are using admin client. So we have created these two services. So in the next tutorial, I will show you how we can send a request to our Kong API gateway and configure the route to send this request to payment service. So if you are new to this channel, may you kindly subscribe, click the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever we upload new video. Salut coders!